Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is the Adventure Crusader, and we are back for some more Let's Play U3 as the Henza turned into Germany. We are currently in the process of devouring everyone in Europe. We have a bit of an issue in that Italy, in the form of these dudes, the Pope and uh, Naples. Naples' capital is here in Napoli, and I don't think we can take it unless it's isolated. So, we're going to have to fight the Pope right about now. So let's go ahead and get that started. Uh, and I should probably start my timer as well, so I don't know how far we have to go. Uh, and why not color our allies? Uh, they're allied with Bohemia, which I don't really care about, because Bohemia only has 40,000, which is two of my armies put together. And we have better tech than them. Naples is defending the faith, and honestly, if Naples joins... Uh, it would be pretty bad because it would reset our timer cooldown, but I don't think we'd have much of an issue from them. I don't think they'll be joining, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we need to annex the Pope ASAP. And let's go ahead and get our speed up. Transylvania, Rizan, Rosalvo. Good. Good. They are going to Ancona. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so our plan is we are going to switch government types to uh, constitutional monarchy as soon as we are finished killing all of the constitutional monarchies slash regular monarchies around the area. No, I'm not doing that. You're silly. Uh, so we're trying to burn our infamy right now. It doesn't mean we can't go to war with people. It just means we can't annex anybody for a little while. And the reason for that is that we're more likely to have less infamy if uh, there, there's events that give us infamy reduction, but we have to be at low infamy in the first place for them to work. Uh, so we're kind of just chilling and waiting for infamy to go down. It should be about a little, of, little less than 10 years and we'll be at zero. Uh, I won't go all the way to zero because that's inefficient. Uh, but currently we're sitting on Lorraine and I'd like a white piece with Scotland if we can. I forgot that we have troops up here. We should definitely go beat up Scotland. Stupid jerks. Alright, so there we go. All I want to do with Scotland is force them out of this war so that they don't deal, they don't have to deal with them anymore. So let's go ahead and do that. Do that, and do that. And no, we don't actually need the money, but us having the money means that they don't have it, and that means they can't use it against us. So there we go. That's them out of the war. Still a war with Lorraine and the Pope. Neither of which are any threat. Because they each have zero units. Siege here, and siege here. There we go. So we're waiting for truces to run out with Naples and Scandinavia. Scandinavia runs out uh, December this year. Naples will run out in four years. So we're going to have to wait a while for that. But that does give us time to move troops into position for Scandinavia. So we're going to put 100,000 men up here, because I'm not sure how well we'll be able to defend this naval navally in a naval fashion. I'm actually going to, I'm going to move uh, six armies, 120. 120,000. Oh, that should be enough. I'm going to do the East India Man now, if we wanted to. Alright, we're almost done with level one forts. Once we finish that, really it doesn't matter what we build. So, I don't even know if we will bother building anything. We might just get uh, cultural tradition all the time. Just for fun. Oh my goodness. Getting kicked out by Oman. Alright, you're still a republic. You're still a republic. Wait. Yeah, Buchanan is a republic. We do reconquest on them whenever we want. It's probably be a good idea to do that now. You're still a republic. Yeah, and you're still a republic. So I'm going to go ahead and get war going with Burgundy. Three armies. You can spread out a little bit. You don't really need to be there. And you can go right there. Y 
You are a republic. Balls. Are you a republic? You are. Alrighty then. So we need to switch rather soon. Vyatka. Which is Prussian. Cool. Prussia is uh, it's actually doing pretty well. They're pretty pretty large and dangerous looking. Revolutionary War on Serbia. Really now. Do we even want to bother with that? Then we can conquer them and, and then uh, take their crap later. We don't actually have to annex them anytime soon. I don't know if we change government types, if that'll uh, if that'll cause a problem with annexing. So I think we're gonna have to finish our finish our stuff first, finish our wars before we change government types. But that's okay because we'll spend time recovering stability and uh, reducing infamy at the same time. Well, balls. Everybody's already here. I'll just wait till they're done with their war. <sighs> Scandinavia. We got another month. We have all of my armies there. We do. Why don't you go ahead over as well? Oh, I'm blockaded. Screw you, Lorraine. Kick your ass. Freaking one ship just preventing my troops from getting over. Alright, so this is... Seven armies of 20,000 each. So let's go ahead and get this started. Prussia, Lorraine, Hano. That's fine. Alright, half you go there. Half you go there. Can't possibly go wrong. Prussia, surprisingly, did not join. There goes their entire army. There we go. Keep moving. And we're just going to try and blitzcrank through this as fast as possible. I'll split up once we have more places to go to. Like there. That way we don't take so much uh, attrition. Hey, money is good. There we go. And I probably should go ahead and do the invasion that this war is about down in... This area. So let's go ahead and do that. Castile, do we have a truce with you? Your Republic, damn it. Liberation. Who do we have? Liberation. They don't, they're the only ones with a core. Actually, no, Morocco has a core there, but they have a core. That's not liberation, because liber Morocco already exists. Uh, this is <coughs> Songhai, which is right here. So, same thing. We couldn't actually make them release Songhai, because Songhai already exists. Uh, and they're the only ones with the cores down there. So I don't really know what we have liberation on them for, unless it's, like, something over here. Which could be. Uh, no. Go away with your silly peace offers. Alright, we're at 20% already. This is probably going to be, like, 3. Good. Keep moving. Good. How much are they all? Yeah, they don't, we already killed their entire army, so we can just split everybody up. I don't think, yeah, they didn't bother upgrading any of their forts. Should be easy. Easy as pie. Okay, so Serbia's done with their war. I think they only have one territory left. Yeah, I don't even care. White piece. Doesn't even matter. Alright, move you up there, and you can jump across the land route to Finland. And we got a core on Toledo. Nice, nice. So that'll be free now when we go to take it, which we might actually be able to do now. So let's go ahead and try, at least. The worst that can happen is that we have to go fight them five years from now. Why are there two armies here? There should only be one army here. Whatever. Brazil and Funge. Doesn't even matter. Oh, pause the game, please. Good. Croatia has spawned. Where's Croatia? Croatia's there. Who are you at war with? Nobody. Alright. Might be too infamy for that. I don't want to. Too infamy for one territory is not worth it if it's not in my designated capture zone. You guys need to hurry up. Jesus.
And I'm just going to take a whole bunch of this crap just because I can. I'm going to make him release Sweden. That would be clever. There we go. Alright, can we now... Oh, we have Diplomat. Damn it. Sure, sure. Okay, you guys can go fight that way. Castile's army is going to Mercia. Which is there. Uh, we have Magistrates. Uh, Fort level 1 is, are all done. Super epic production. We will build lots and lots of constables where we have lots of production. Because even though it doesn't matter, the next one does. Next upgrade. My voice feels really dry. Do you guys hear that? Whatever. <coughs> Alright, what are we at? 59. Alright, I want this. And I want you to release Sweden. What, 16% really? 95%. Okay, that's not going to happen. How about Finland and Denmark? It's quite a bit of territory, actually. And they would take it right now. Uh, that sounds good to me. We're taking a lot of attrition right now. So we might as well uh, get rid of your core on me. Alright, you guys can go back. Rejected? They said they would accept... Okay, fine. I'll take more of your crap. How about that? How about that? You, I will make you listen to reason. You can go ahead and back. You can go ahead and back. And that should be enough, I think, if we take Viborg. Alright, what are we up to now? 69%. That's a little bit of improvement. Let's do that. You will release Denmark and Finland. Get rid of the core you have on me. Wow, that's 12%. That's crazy. Do those cores. And get rid of your friendship with Novgorod. There we go. Denmark, how are you? You have one territory. It's fine. Um... um can we get you back? I think we can. Good deal. It's a hell of a march. Alright, you guys can all come on back here. There we go. And I was going to kill Burgundy, wasn't I? Let's go kill Burgundy. Reconquest. I will take your crap. Uh, and we have no Diplos. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Ah, Gangbang Luxembourg. We completed a mission that I didn't even know we were completing. What's our new mission? Subjugation on Flanders. Uh, I don't like that because I'm going to annex them in a bit. Give me a better one. Break blockade at Lima. Uh, sure. We can do that. Where's Lima? Where's their blockade? Search function! Lima, where are you? There you are. I found you. I think all we actually have to do, we don't even have to win the fight, we just have to like kind of pop out and be like, yo, what up? So, uh, let's do that. Uh, cool. Okay, there's the save liege. I can do that. Get off liege, jerks. Uh, and you guys can siege, and you guys can siege. Or assault, or whatever, you know. You know what I mean. There we go. Break blockade at Pikanmuku. Pikanmapu. Uh, and that's down there. Great, because I rotated a navy over. Alright, navy, go over there. And you are about to die. Why don't you go ahead and pop back in a lima? 
One Bregonia. Good. Oh, we're besieging Rome. Why? Oh, screw you, Pope Man. Screw you. Uh, Siege and Wallace from them. They think they're cool kids. And no more. Alright, give me one second, guys. I gotta talk to my sisters. Be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that. There is. Peace over. No, I don't want that. Give me my core that I wanted. There we go. Give me all your money. Get rid of your cores on all of my crap. I don't think we have enough to do that. That's okay. Maybe we do. Or maybe not. I don't know. Looks like we might. Oh, oh we actually made it. Sweet. Uh, can we do any more? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Look at look at all those cores we get rid of. That's All those places will not have Burgundian revolts. It's amazing. Sweet, we got a conversion. Speaking of which, we should be converting people. Yay! Our name, our name is now here because this is definitely Germany. Oh my goodness! And we need another diplomat. Always need diplomats. Not a problem. Give me that. Convert that. Convert that. We just have a wall of Protestantism over here. That'd be fantastic. Uh, on the bright side, we still don't have that many places left to convert. We got that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there. And then a smattering in Europe, and that's it. And we're up to 84, which means we have just, just about 25 years left, something like that. Oh man, it's crazy. It's gonna be crazy. All right, give me a diplo. All right, your war's done. Your war's done. We're gonna need a lot more than three percent, so we need to go invade uh, Mamluks. Well, not, not actually invade Mamluks, but invade the past Mamluks. Uh, you guys can go ahead and get in position. I need a diplo. Give me a diplomat, please. God, there's blockades everywhere. Oh, wrong one. Um, where, I could have sworn I had a big navy here. Yep, there it is. Why don't you guys swing over this way? And kill all the pirates on the way. Do I have any ex disposable, expendable navies? I do. Alright, I have an extra one here. Which can go chill right about there. And I have an extra one here. Which can go chill right about there. And that should keep the pirates away. Coast of Chile! Are you going to win that? Probably not. It's okay. I have another guy coming to support you. defeat you. Oh, ready for this? Boom. Can't get away. Coming at you from two sides. Hurrah. Lots, of, lots and lots of conversions. And that's the Pope's army dead. And Brazil is invading. Great. Thanks, Brazil. Appreciate that. thought we were bros. Can I have a white piece with you? What if I give you, like, $100,000? What if I give you just, like, $25? There you go. Told you we could be pros. Alright, there's that done. Break located Atacama. 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 I think that's one of these. Yeah, there it is. Atacama. Break blockade. Chon Chom. What a surprise. Okay, I'm going there next. Save Alicante. I will do this. There we go. Now, can I get a cool mission? Like, conquer somebody? That would be sweet. Uh, more blockades. That's, that sounded like an African place, Ungawa. It's the only one. It's the only one I have. Okay, Ungawa. No, it's actually North America. Hot damn. 
and I just sent my one and only navy in the area all the way to the other side of South America. I really need to build more navies. Uh, I just don't feel like it though. You know, we don't really need one at this point because everything I'm doing is, is, you know, local Europe. Yeah, Norway is revolting. Go Norway. I kind of wish that they had been annexed because then I could make them, I could have forced them out of Scandinavia and they would have had so much territory. <sighs> Alright, we're down to 14 infamy, that's good. Would they give me that? They would actually give me that. That's awesome. And I can actually take it too, which is which is even better. Alright, get rid of your cores on my stuff. I think we'll go up to 14%, which is good. Okay. That looks good to me. So there we go. There we go. When does your truce one out? Navarra. 86. Okay, so we have a year to go. Uh, just had a truce with you. Truce with Naples. 87. So we have to wait another year after that. You're a kingdom. Let's go ahead and kill you. And we have to go them again. Blockade Porto. I will do this. I need you to heal up for a minute or two. Venice. Venice is at war with us. Cool. We go fight them. Beat them up for no reason. Alright, let's go blockade Porto. Go at war with Portugal and might as well go take their crap and just beat them up. Right? Can't hurt. Alright, wow, level one. We failed to do that. Save Treviso, I can do that one for sure. God, these are the like rapid fire most rapid fire missions I've had. There's like boom 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 mission. All over the place. What else are we what? Portugal, Brazil, Granada, Venice. Okay, so we just beat up Portugal and then everybody else will cave. There we go. Annex you. Two infamy. And t take all the crap you're worth. Give me monies. Uh, and I kind of need to take Porto so that I can take Lisboa later. It's not it's not efficient, but I do kind of need to do it. Um, because I need to have their capital isolated so that I can take it in the next war. Uh, there's that done. Our reputation must improve. What do I have to do for that? I think I'll lose infamy, but the question is how much. Less infamy than 13. You know what? That sounds like a good mission, and I get a level 4 diplomat. Like, sweet. Can we get another level 6, just to replace the one we have? Level 5. That's the problem, is that you get tons and tons of level 5s. But you very rarely get a level 6. Naples is now having tons of... Rebel problems, which is good. So that means it'll be easier for us to take their local crap. Alright, so we will fail this mission if we gain any more infamy. So we can't finish the wars that we just started. What we can do is we can wait and I think we can start wars. I think so. I hope so. I kind of want to take over Navarra uh, and most of Naples by the time it's time to actually annex some people. Uh, set face. What about here? Vizcaya. Of course it'd be in Vizcaya. Of course it would. It's fine. Where is, what's the richest? What's the richest? Lima is still the richest, followed by Chiquitos and Mohawk. Cool. Let's kick a bunch of noobs out of Lima. Alright, we are looking good. Yes, Mr. Alpers, we will keep you. You've been in office forever, but we will still keep you because you are the bomb.
We get a lot of magistrates. Uh, diplomat, level 6, yes! Get a level 6 Diplo. Alright. So now we have a new level 6 Diplo. Who will last us forever. Random land tech is cool. Castilian Africa. Castile is losing. I wonder where the new capital is. Do we have any use for spies? Um, we probably could find a use or two for them. Like uh, funding some nationalists. Failed. 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 Great. Uh, let's get some more. <laughs> nationalists. Success. Yes. We can fund some here as well. They can't, They actually can't do anything about it. Uh, oh, we have a core here, actually. We can find Patriots, and I think they would uh, actually defect to us. Problem being, it would be one infamy to do it, but whatever. Who cares? I'll mess with it later. Archipelago Frigate. That's a cool sounding name. Might have to build me one of those. Archipelago Frigate. Goodness. There's actually a Steam Achieve. I don't know if it'll actually show you guys this or not, but I'm looking at it right now. Uh, when the achievements are up. Achievements are disabled. What? Game is not modified. Whatever. There's actually an Achieve for building a navy of a certain number of three deckers. We can build two deckers right now if you get your navy tech up a little bit more. You get three deckers. So, uh, how much is it? It's next level actually. So if once you get to level thirty-eight uh, tech, you can build three deckers, and I think it's like thirty or forty or whatever. No, we don't need to invest in that. Once you get to that many, you can do all kinds of cool stuff uh, and get the steam achieve, obviously. Okay, we should be able to invade Navarra sometime soon. Hopefully this will not break our mission. But if it does, you know, who cares? It's just a diplomat level 4. Ah, uh, truce. Truce, truce, truce. What month? When's that with Navarra in 86? And I didn't check the month again. I'm an idiot. Navarra. December of 86. Okay, so we have to wait basically till 87. On the bright side, Tunisia has spawned down here in Gabe's. Let's build some crap, shall we? Let's build mini factories for something. Let's build fine arts academies just everywhere. Stability investment, cultural tradition. Why not? Just build tons of them. Yeah, they get more expensive each time. I don't care. Look at our money. We got tons. Won't be the most... Most richest dude ever. Epic man power modifier. Gives me an extra 60,000 men. Uh, just wait until the end of December. Let's go, let's go. Oh, we have missionaries. Dork. Send missionaries. We don't even have that, that good of a conversion chance, but we just convert so many people at once that we just have like one conversion, one or two conversions a year. It's just awesome. <sighs> cool. Alright, choose gone yet? Should be. Yep. They're allied with Hano. Don't even care. Hano is a republic, 
So we're going to have Belly. And they joined. So now we get to beat them up. You can go deal with that. And you can come help me out here. Level 6. They would upgrade this all the way to level 6 just for me. Well, standing here did not... Uh, starting this war did not actually cancel our mission, so that's good. I don't even know if I can take down a level 6. Like, they're just so hard. Yeah, look at that. We can't even take down a level 6. I got most of it, but they're just so difficult. Pro tip, if you are really turtling hard and you really need to, you really need to wait out a war, build up a line of level 6s. But do it, do it this way. Assume that you have these three territories, Pex, Sumagi, Slavonia, and uh, your enemies are coming this way, okay? And you also have Osijek and Solnok. Build level 6s here and level 1s here. It sounds crazy, but what happens is they come in and take these by assaulting them, and then they get to the hard ones, and they don't want to assault those because they're so difficult. You sneak around behind them, recapture these, and then their supply lines are cut off. Literally, they will lose troops every month due to attrition because their supply lines are not line are not lined up. So then you just back around and you just wait for them to take war, war exhaustion. So this is something you could do. This is something I probably should have done against the HRE uh, when they were demolishing us. Uh, and it really, what it does is it just absolutely destroys their ability to fight you effectively because they just can't do it. It just doesn't work. What do I have? Of there's this. It's, oh, there's... Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I didn't see that. The Pope has units here. They've, they've got two territories here, and I didn't even notice. I think we should be able to still take their capital on the peace deal, though, because it's the only one. No. Damn it. Well, we're going to have to take two extra provinces. That sucks. Alright. need to know, do I have a transport navy? I think I do somewhere. Just have to find it. Uh, navies, national navies, that's what I want. Charts, here's some charts for you. Lots of course, lots of Hanoverian culture, lots of Protestants, very, very tiny amount of Sunni, mostly Catholic, that's not converted. Most of our production is in other, because that makes sense. We have a lot of grain, we have a lot of fur, and we have a lot of wool and fish. Uh, navies, transport, 23. Tabuk. Why the heck are you all the way down there? Yeah, go ahead and do that. Tobolsk and other places that I don't care about. Cool. Freaking rebels, man. Is this... It is Denmark. Go Denmark! Best ally in the world. Alright. Denmark actually is in control of that. Kind of hope they don't take any of it. Because then I have to beat them up. Now they got white piece. Okay. Well, and now these forts are super low on troops. So easy to take. Alright, well that was easy. We're almost done with our mission. We need to lose another 1.2 infamy. And we are over the 30 minute mark, ladies and gentlemen. So I thank you for watching me today. Took over a lot of random noobs, because why not? Uh, next war episode, we're going to finish invading the Pope and also uh, Naples down here. I think we have enough infamy to work with um, that we can actually annex all of our targets, but we're going to have to be careful about doing it because I really don't have to take any more of Naples than we have to, and I would really to like to just be able to take their capital and then these three and be done with it, and Nice and Breslau. Um, just a quick count, we'll take, I think, one infamy, maybe two infamy for Lisboa. We're going to go with two, plus two, plus two, plus two plus two, plus three, plus two, to finish off 
this area plus two for uh, that. So two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So we're going to take seventeen infamy. So at a rate of two and a half a year uh, for that much infamy, it should take us about six or seven years. So I think we actually do have the infamy to work with. Uh, to work with this to actually make it work. But Naples is going to be a bit of an issue if we can't make them work, and so is the Pope. So we're going to have to take Roma in order to actually technically separate Naples. And we're going to have to take uh, Naples in a separate war from these. So we need to go to war with Naples as soon as possible so we can take that. We only have 30-some thousand dudes here, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm just going to go ahead and get them in position. And thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to sign off now because I need to go get drink something because my voice is dry. So Thanks for watching, guys, and see you later. Bye.